I go to the movies. What? And uh, this movie is a daytime movie. And it is generally for the children. But this movie is pretty adult, I think. But anyway, so uh, the movie, it is part of the summer series. And I saw it at the Regal. And they show the kids' movies on Tuesday and Wednesday. And today, the movie that they showed, it was called Trolls. If you can even believe it. So, uh, yeah, they showed the sequel, uh, like, uh, last week or something. <laughs> so, or the week before. So that's where they showed them out of order. But, uh, so... I was like, I had not seen this, uh, so I will go and see it, and, uh, the movie, it was, it was kind of cute, although, I think this movie was, was a lot darker than, uh, the Trolls sequel. The Trolls sequel was kind of dark in that it had, you know, the rock and roll trolls and they were trying to take over everything, but this first one, it was, it was a lot, a lot weirder, because there's these, like, giant things. And they're called the Gurgans or something. And, uh, they eat trolls. What? If you could even believe it. It's like, why would you eat these cute little fellers? So, <laughs> their, their logic is that if you eat the trolls, it makes you happy. So, <laughs> that's what, that, you know, that's what they're thinking. But, uh, <laughs> so... In general, in general, this movie, these movies are just like an excuse to license some songs and, you know, stuff like that. But, but uh, and sell troll dolls, obviously. So, I mean, it's generally pretty cute. Uh, I think I like the Trolls World Tour a lot more. I like the song choices more. That movie was really based more around music. And this uh, movie, it, it just had had music. It wasn't based on music. So I think the sequel was better. But uh, this first one, I don't know. It was, <laughs> it was, it was a little bit more disturbing. Also, I gotta say, <laughs> I noticed something in this movie, and it got me thinking. This uh, the diamond guy, the the. Do they call him King Diamond? Diamond Diamond Kid or something? He is uh, obviously some kind of pervert. <laughs> he's the only one not wearing pants. Everybody else has pants. So he's just walking around naked. And they, uh, they establish early in the movie that he farts glitter. So if he's covered in glitter... We have to assume that he has covered himself in his own feces, like a weirdo. <laughs> and they like throw these like glitter balls, which we have to assume is this this guy's poop. And um, they have little like birthday cards and party invitations that shoot glitter, which we have to assume is, is this guy's collected farts. I don't know. This movie was real weird. There's a lot of things that I saw in this first movie that that that, that caught me as like really strange. Like <laughs> So I don't know <laughs> the team who was the team behind this movie, but I was like, I think you guys might be some weirdos. But you never know, I guess. But uh there's a whole level of the movie that, you know, no one's gonna pick up any of the weird stuff and uh it had uh james corden again he was the the fat the fat troll and uh he has a little squeaky toy that's sentient and uh ron funches is back as the llama but he was he didn't sound as much like ron funches in this movie in this first one he was trying to change his voice in the second movie he's just himself he has a unique enough voice so there's that. But, um, yeah, so the whole thing with the, I want to call them trolls, but in this world they have to not be trolls because the guys with the long hair on their head, those are called trolls. But, uh, 
these big, these gurgans or whatever, it's like they're living in this sort of medieval world and, you know, it just kind of reminded me of Shrek, except instead of them being green, they were kind of gray and muted. You know, that's, that's the thing that's going on. There's one troll that's kind of like those guys and he's like, he's very sad, you know. And they, they talk about why. There's reasoning behind it. And, but the movie's all about finding your true colors and <clears throat> that sort of thing, you know. Learning to be happy. That, that sort of thing. I just think, overall, the second movie, the world tour, was much better <laughs> than this one. I mean, this movie wasn't awful. It's just... I really think World Tour, it had a a better story and it had better music and just looked better. <laughs> Didn't have those creepy Gurgen characters. They're like completely out of the world. Which is funny, in the World Tour movie, they have this map where they show where all the trolls live, but they don't show where those giant creatures live <laughs> but anyway <laughs> overall you know it's like the the first trolls movie i think it's okay but i think the second trolls movie was much better it is what it is so yeah but anyway all that that's just my opinion and my opinion doesn't matter and your opinion doesn't matter we just put our opinions on the internet you know it's what we do as a culture and no one knows why we do it but we can't seem to stop so for what it's worth i've thrown my thoughts and opinions up on top of the thoughts and opinions pile they will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions but uh yeah this first troll movie is okay i think the second one was better though so there you go <laughs>